Oh boy, it's Friday night. It's Vlogmas number nine. Can you believe we're up to number nine already? And we have two bottles of wine. Hi everyone. Happy Friday. We made it through another week. I had my doubts yesterday if I was going to make it through Friday, but lo and behold, here it is. It's Friday. We made it. I'm so excited. And it's Vlogmas number nine. I cannot believe how fast this is going. And I think I've said that through the past few days, but man, this month is flying by already. So anyway, we'll start off with our ugly dress of the day but you know I don't think I introduced myself because you know some of you may not know me so anyway I'm Nancy I'm so excited to have you guys here it means so much to me that you guys take a few minutes out of your day to spend with me it means so much to me and I appreciate you guys so much I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up your comments of course are always always welcome and if you are new to my channel please just take a second hit that little red subscribe button over there i would love to have you come back and join us for future videos and part of what i have been doing these last few years is vlogmas and dressing up in ugly christmas sweaters and dresses and headgear and just having a little bit of fun you know safe fun because here i am at home drinking at my leisure sharing it with you guys and just having fun so anyway the hat i have this was actually a two-pack that i got from amazon i think i even got it this year earlier in the year i was kind of gearing up for it so it's got this little battery in the back and these little things that blink so it's just a headband i got a red one and a green one this i actually got to go with halloween and it didn't come till after halloween but i figured it kind of went with this dress and this was again from Amazon. It's a little big in the back. I might have to try to play with it to make it look like a true choker. The dress, I actually bought this summer from Amazon and it took about two months to come in. So you never know with the shipping from. But anyway, so it's this kind of green dress. We've got this funky reindeer right here with a red nose. It's probably Rudolph. And it goes down to just below my knees. It's a nice stretchy dress. So if you wanted to put a petticoat or something under it you can and just a fun little there's no zip or anything just a pull-on dress jersey nice and stretchy and so we got two things because it's friday you know and i want to have dinner with some wine and i really didn't know what the wine was till i pulled it out so pop the wine probably would have gone just fine but i am doing the lint chocolate calendar that i got from world market and the one that i picked out for day nine is another one of these lint little truffles they're really nice when you get the full size one there's that soft truffle chocolate inside these are just the same but a little smaller the coffee that i had yesterday and i had it uh yesterday i actually had it around noon time so i had um I think it was from McDonald's, the McCafe one. It was a chocolate mocha that was really good. It hit the spot. The one that I picked out of my Carrick back there, 24, 24 cups of cheer, is another Green Mountain blend. This one is the breakfast blend. So this one will be perfect to wake up on Saturday morning and have a cup of coffee and wake up and start the day. So I'm excited about that. Alrighty, so the wine in the advent calendar is, uh, and again, I've got the holiday sweater one. Imagine I've only got like three days left and i got to open another advent calendar. So this one is one of their Merlots. So let's check this bad boy out. 
the other wine that I'm having with my dinner tonight, and this one, like I said, probably would have been just as good, but um, maybe last year, maybe two years ago, I had got some extras when I got one of my monthly subscriptions from the Sip and Save or from the, that little club, um, subscription wine club, and I haven't had it yet, but it's the fog. I, I think I'm going to go grab the fog and watch my fog movies tonight. I love both of them, the old one and the remake. But anyway, we've got our ugly Christmas sweater glass. we got our Merlot, so let's check this out. So I know as we get closer to Christmas, you guys are probably very, very busy, maybe shopping, making plans to travel, decorating your house, trying to pick menus. What are you going to make? Who's coming over? How much, how much turkey meat do you need? No. Mm -hmm. But it is a fun time of year to get together with everyone. It's a nice deep purple color. Almost kind of like a brownish purple. I right, swirl it around. Let's uh, get some air in there. Get the fragrances to release. I smell cherries. Plum. And maybe cocoa or a mocha. Cheers everyone. Mmm. The Merlot, it's always, well not always, but it's nice. It's a velvety smooth. It's got some nice soft tannins in it, probably aged in an oak barrel. So you get kind of that, that flavor and the tannins again used to scare the crap out of me because I was like, Ooh, why is my mouth drying out like this? But it's just the grape skins and the stems that they kind of all blend together. It kind of gives it the richness. It helps give it the texture. And then aging in the oak barrels just gives it a whole other flavor. So cheers, gonna have another quick sip. This is really nice, nice and smooth. It's very, very good. So anyway, the wine that I was planning on having with my dinner, but that probably would have been just as good. And maybe I got this last year, maybe two years ago. It was one of the extras that I got when I got my Sip and Savor, that uh, wine subscription that I get every other month the, for the mini bottles. And I put some extras in, and it was the Fog Reserve Edition. And it's a Pinot Noir 2018. And I was going to make one of my wink wines, but I kind of had an idea what I wanted to have with them but it's been such a cold, cold week. I wanted something kind of rich, something heavy, something warm. So I made chili. So I've got some chili, I've got, um, which I made with some ground turkey and some kidney beans. I've got like diced tomatoes in here with that, the green chilies and some other diced tomatoes and tomato sauce. And then I've got some cornbread on the side. I had some leftover Velveeta cheese that I got from when I made that cheese soup. So I melted some cheese, put that on top with a little bit of sour cream. So that's going to be my dinner. And the fog. Yeah, when I heard this name too, I was thinking, oh, you know, I need to grab the movies, the fog this weekend. I love the original one. But I also like the remake. The remake has like more special effects, but the other one was scarier. So anyway, let's put it on the red side today. So anyway, I'm gonna have this Pinot Noir with my dinner. Unless the Merlot tastes better, then I will cap that and put it in the refrigerator. Good thing I don't fill these too far, because otherwise it would have spilled. Just gonna swirl it around, get some air in there, let the fragrances release, kind of aerate it a little bit. I had the cap off for a little while too. Mm, smells a little bit sweeter than the Merlot. Maybe some cherries, maybe even strawberries, maybe some plum. Something earthy, not sure what that is. Cheers everyone. You know, I've got green on so I should probably wear the green side, right? Kind of like a bitter taste, but not bad. Um, I can taste plum. I can taste cherry. Something sweeter in here, but I think that's a strawberry. Almost getting like a mushroom type flavor. Like, you know, when you have mushroom on your pizza and you really don't like mushrooms, but you eat it anyway because you're with company and you don't want to see them see 
watch you pick off stuff you don't like. So I'm going to say mushrooms, but I'm not really positive on that. But it's got, kind of got that earthy kind of texture and taste. One more sip to think about it. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. But it is a nice, I think it's lighter than the Merlot. I think either one is going to go with the chili. Maybe, since I got two glasses poured, maybe I will mix them and do it that way. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much uh, for stopping in and watching all week. We got a little bit more ways to go. I got my, the champagne one in for the countdown to New Year's. This one was, I think this one was, it's 12 bottles. And because I don't need 12 from Christmas to New Year, so I'll have a little bit extra. But I'm excited to do that. I think that one starts Christmas, Christmas night. So I will uh, be seeing you every night. Until then, I hope, I hope I can still keep up with it every night. And uh, I'm starting on the champagne one. So anyway, I hope you guys go out. Have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have fun i know it's so easy to get stressed out during the holidays because you want everything to be perfect but you know what it doesn't have to be perfect all you have to do is be yourself have fun and don't sweat over the little things because in the long run 10 years from now who really cares i mean when sabrina and i don't know if she's watching this but she did a cartwheel and to um somebody's christmas tree and knocked it over when she was maybe 10 years old they're still laughing about it 30 years later i know it was funny it was funny then she didn't think so but you know it's funny now so don't stress over the little things enjoy life it's hard enough without having to worry and sweat over the little stuff just do what you can have some fun and that's it Alrighty, so we will see you guys tomorrow for fun Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm losing track of my vlogmases, but we will see you tomorrow. Love you guys so much.